there's certain things that are obviously better about living in your car than living in a house. I have more, I have more freedom. I, I kind of like control my destiny. Maybe today I'll wake up and I'll be across the street from a great art museum. You can go, you know, it, it kind of makes the world is your oyster. But yeah, it's true I can't afford rent and it's true the only, you know, I didn't really have any options besides living in my car unless I wanted to move back in with my mom. So in that way, you're not, you're not defined, you're not defined by like where you live. Like I live in Los Angeles, but that doesn't mean I'm defined as living in Los Angeles. And in the same way, I'm not defined by living in my car. I mean, if you meet somebody, if you're if you're going out on a date or if you're going to like your swimming class or something, you don't say, oh, do you guys live in houses? That'd be fucking stupid. So I don't, obviously I don't talk about living in my car. That's not the first thing I talk about. It usually doesn't even come up because I don't meet that many people anyway. I don't need anybody else. Homeless people like live in enclaves. They're kind of like hive creatures, you know, they, they band together, they need each other. I go where I want, I do what I want. I don't consult my tent roommate first. I'm sure there's like community uh, communities of car dwellers. I could, I could be in a community if I wanted. Any community would be happy to have me. I have neighbors. Every time I pull up to a stop sign, I look over, there's people. This guy over here, that's a person. That's my neighbor for 10 seconds. 